Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Many of you are wondering why we keep talking about Windows 8. Well, that's coming really soon. Uh, so it's good to talk about things, especially when we know certain things about Windows 8. But that doesn't mean that Windows 7 is going to go away. Heck, Windows 7 has been around for a long time, and many people are still using Windows XP for good reasons. Uh, but Windows 7 is probably going to be around for a long time, judging by what I see with the Windows 8 consumer preview. Uh, how many of you guys are on Windows 7 here? Uh, I'm, I'm asking the Nomies, or, or you, are you on Windows 7 today? Uh, you probably are in full control of your machine. You know exactly what's going on, because that's my audience. Most of my audience who watch my videos uh, understand what's going on with their computer. But maybe you know of someone uh, who isn't very PC savvy, not very uh, good with computers. They say, I'm computer illiterate, and they have Windows 7. Are they parents? Do they have kids in the house? you may want to send them a link to the article that we've created just for them, how to set parental controls in Windows 7. Now you can imagine, oh, just click on the link to help in Windows. Uh, not as easy as the way that we've broken it down for people. We've given a step-by-step -step guide uh, explaining it in as clear English as we possibly could uh, for setting parental controls in Windows 7. And so many parents out there don't even realize that parental controls can be set. And I realize a lot of this is going to frustrate many of you minors or kids who live with their parents. And I know there are some adults who live with their parents too, but you probably hopefully have your own computer and are planning on moving out at some point. Uh, but setting parental controls can be very uh, important so that your kid uh, doesn't do something to the computer that they shouldn't do or go somewhere that they shouldn't go to. Now, to me, the ultimate, ultimate parental control is the parent. Don't rely on software to do your job. Just like you wouldn't expect a television to be your babysitter, don't expect the computer is going to do any better than a television. You have to do your job as a parent. But if you're looking for help, Windows absolutely can do that for you. They can, well, it can, if configured the right way, uh, keep everything in check. Uh, because you certainly can't be watching things 24-7, and yes, I'm sure your kids are going to figure out a way around the thing that you set up, but, well, that's what uh, getting grounded is for, and I was definitely grounded a few times when I was growing up. Granted, it had nothing to do with doing anything on the computer, although had I had a computer back then, I can only, I'd probably still be grounded today. So if you know of someone who is a parent or an adult who has kids in the house and they have not configured their computer because they're afraid or they're confused or they just they don't know how to do it, please send them a link to the video and the article telling me it's not that difficult to do. We'll help you get it done. We're more than happy to do that.